Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Can you say welcome? Welcome. Can you say welcome? Welcome. To our annual soup supper. And this year we are doing it on YouTube. We're so glad that you can join us. And we are going to light the chalice. Ready? Yeah. We light this chalice. Maybe. To celebrate Unitarian Universalism. We are a church. Can you do it like this? Of open minds. Can you do that, Mira? Open minds. We are a church of loving hearts. We are a church of helping hands. Together, we care for earth and work for justice and peace in our world. Hope you enjoy. to read the snowy day to his sisters Willa and Violet. Go ahead honey. One winter morning Peter woke up and looked out at the win out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It's co it covered everything as far as he could see. Turn the page. Willa I'll signal you when it's time to turn the page okay. After after breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Good job. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing out like that. Okay, go ahead. Then he dragged his feet, S-O-L-O-W-L-Y. Well, that's what it says. Slowly. I know, I just spelled it because there's lines. I know, keep going. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. Bo, do you want to listen? It was a stick. A stick. That was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell a snow plop on top of Peter's head. So he made a smiling snowman and he made angels. pretended he was a mountain climber 
He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. He picked a hand he picked up a handful of snow and another he and still another he packed it round and firm and then he put a snowball in his pocket for tomorrow <laughs> then he wanted to warm his house no then he went into his warm house there you go he told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. Pody, come here. Are those his underwear? I see. Those are his underwear. And she thought and thought and thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. While he slept, he dreamed. I said, "Whale." He slept. <laughs> While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted and the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. That's it. What do we say at the end of the book? Pizza rules. Yeah. The end. Happy holidays. The end. Hi, Sylvie. Hi, Jack. Hey, I thought we would teach everybody a song. How do you feel about that? You're suspicious, Good. well you should be. Um, this is a song that I learned when I was your age, and I learned it at Prescott School. Oh, that's the school I go to, but in the pandemic now, I just I do know. homeschool. But, but yeah. still, it's your school. Yes. And not only that, Sylvie, um, I went to school at Prescott when I was your age, and I lived on Sewell right. Street, about two houses down. Yeah, I live on Sewell Street. I go to Prescott School, and I'm eight years old. Yeah, and that was okay. exactly true of me. Yes. I lived about two houses down from where yes. you just moved. Amazing. Right. Um, but you did not learn this song at Prescott School. No, but I I'm, learned this land is your land, if you know about that song. Well, we're going to have to make... A really great song. You're getting distracted. We're going to have to do that song later. Maybe we'll do right. that for 4th of maybe. July. Maybe. Anyway, are you ready to go? Oh! Uh, what is it? What is it? We're going to sing Over the River and Through the Woods. Oh, oh yeah, I know that one. Okay. And um, one. we're going to do it first as a call and response. So why don't you explain what that means? Um, so a call and response is like, I maybe even ask you a question or something, and then I like, I pause, and then you answer it, like, I'll do a little short one, like, do you like the color purple? And I would say an answer to it. And yes. so when you're doing a song like this, you'll yeah. sing a line, I'll leave a little pause for them to sing back. And right. once we do that once... Okay, um, so like I'll say over the river and through the woods and then I'll pause and then they, if the background music will still be on so that you can like sing it after me. So I'm perfect. just, so it's just going to be like pretend I said at the first like repeat after me. And Got then it. you just repeat after me, so. I think they can do it. Okay. All right. I think enough talk. We're going to do it right now. Ready? All right. Ready. Okay. Over the river and through the woods To grandfather's house we go The horse knows the way to carry the sleigh Through the white and drifted snow Over the river Drift 
I love the little ending. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Isabel. Today we'll be teaching you how to make paper snow people chains. You will need a piece of white paper, scissors, a pencil, and markers, crayons, colored pencils, or pens for decoration. First, take your paper and fold it in half. Lengthwise. Like this. Oops. Then unfold it and cut down the middle. So you get this. Fold this in half, like this, and then half again, until you get this. Draw a snow person shape on one side. Make sure the snow person's arms touch the folded edges of the paper. If you want, you can find some circles in your house to trace to make the drawing a snow person easier. You can use cups, lids, or tape to, or spools of thread to make it. We're using tape. There you go. You trace the um, tape, tape or circles or whatever you're using. You can erase if you don't like it. And you should get a, something looking like this once you've done making your circles. Then you make your arms out to the side towards the folded edges. Like this. Then you can start cutting out your snowman. Make sure you don't cut the arms on this side or this side. So don't like snip the arms off. So see how I'm doing it like this? You don't want to cut, you don't want to cut like right here, but you can cut everywhere else. Then you should get a snowman shape looking like this. And then you decorate it. And then you unfold it carefully. And you can decorate with your pens and markers and whatever else you're using. Here are some decorated designs that we made. Have fun making your snow people. <laughs> Hi everyone. I have Mira and Milo here with me. Mira is five years old and Milo is two years old and they are going to help me with Frosty the Snowman because this is currently Milo's favorite song and book. Are you ready? You ready? All right. Frosty the Snowman was a jolly, was a jolly happy song. So with a corn cob. Pipe in a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Frosty the so man is, is a very tale. tale. They say he was made of coal. So, but the soldier know the time of die one day. Frosty so man is a jolly happy song. There they must have have some magic and do have some in that old silk 
Cat eat cow. For when they placed it on his head, he began to dance around. Oh, Frosty the snowman is a jolly happy soul. Was alive as he could be. And the children Frosty say he could laugh a pain. The children know just the laugh. same as you mm -hmm. and me. Dumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump. Look at Frosty. Go. Thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump over the hills of snow. Frosty the snowman knew the sun was hot that day. So he said, Let's. Morning, we have some fun when we melt of rain. Down to, to the village. Let's we'll have a boomstick in his hand. Running here and there, all around the thousand good millions of cows. He led them down the streets of town, like to cut a cop. And he only paused a moment when he heard him. Hold up! Stop! Stop! Oh, Frosty the Snowman had to hurry on his way, but he waved goodbye, saying. Don't you cry, I'll be back some again. Someday. Thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump. Look at Frosty. Go. Thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump. Frosty go. Frosty go. Over the hills of. No. Oh, All right. Wow. Thanks, everyone. So, Say bye. 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 Happy holidays. I want to share a tradition with you that actually does not involve food. It involves the Christmas tree and ornaments. So in my house, my husband and I really enjoy our tradition of buying a new ornament every year for each big event. And so I've carried that tradition over to the nonprofit that I founded uh, last year. And I'm at work, and so I thought I would show you our tree here. Uh, so uh, it's a really fun tradition because when you put the ornaments on the tree, of course, you can remember the great times that you had. Uh, and so I made up some ornaments this year to decorate our tree. So I was able to make uh, an ornament with, of course, my nonprofit logo, but then, of course, to celebrate the amazing women that have been through our programming since September of 2020. So we have 10 ornaments on this tree, which is really great and the women got to put up their ornaments yesterday and uh, it was a very proud moment for them and it really captured the holiday spirit um, with the warmth and the cheer and just this celebration so i hope everyone has a wonderful holiday full of companionship and love and of course good food
going to be reading a book called Little Al Snow in honor of winter solstice. A chill cut through the forest. Little Al fluffed his feathers. Something is happening, he thought. Green leaves turned orange, gold, and brown, and then began to fall. Geese flew off to warmer places, navigating by starlight and honking all the way. Dry fallen leaves rustled and crackled as animals scurried, preparing for the cold. Bear was eating all day and into the night. Winter's almost here, little owl said. Isn't it exciting? Winter's too cold, Bear shuddered. I'm staying in. Bear sleeps through all the fun, raccoon whispered. You'll see. Bats disappeared into a cave. Caterpillars closed up their cocoons. Goodbye, hedgehog called. See you in spring. And he wiggled into his warm winter home. Little Al thought he saw a moth, but it was only a leaf in the wind. The forest felt so empty now. The friends were making fog when it happened. Snow. Soon the forest was blanketed in snow, its crystals glinting in the light. Tracks began to appear. Not everyone was hidden away. Little Al hopped atop the frozen pond, watching fish swimming underneath. How strange and wonderful it all was. But one night, Little Al started to miss Hedgehog. Mama, Little Al asked, how much longer till spring? Snow is like a special secret not everyone can know, Mama said. Are you ready for it to melt away so soon? The forest was very quiet. Little Al could hear the smallest sounds, tap, tap, an icicle dripped onto a patch of slush. Mama told little Al he would see fireflies again. He would see hedgehog too, soon enough. Right now though, it was time to enjoy the snow. And that's the story of little Al's snow.
Thanks for joining us. us. Take care, everyone. Ready to blow out the chalice?